Ezekiel chapter 27. The word of the Lord came again to me, saying, Now, you son of man, take up a lamentation for that city like unto Tyrus, and say unto Tyrus, O you that art situated at the entry of the sea, with many, many ports, which art a merchant of a people from many nations. Thus say the Lord God, O Tyrus, thou hast said, I am of perfect beauty. Thy borders are in the midst of the seas. Thy builders have perfected thy beauty. They have made all thy shipboards, the fir trees of Sinir. They have taken cedars from Lebanon to make masks for thee. Of the oaks of Bashan have they made thine oars. The company of the Asherites have made thy benches of ivory, brought out the nations of Chim. Fine linen with broader work from Egypt with that which thou spreadest forth to be thy sail. Blue and purple from the nations of Elijah with that which covered thee. The inhabitants of Zion and Arvad with thy mariners, thy wise men, O Tyrus, that were in thee, were thy pilots and captains. The ancients of Jabal and the wise men thereof were in thee, thy conquerors, all ships of the sea with the mariners were in thee to occupy thy merchandise. They of Persia and of Lud and of Put were in thine army, thy men of war. They hanged the shield and helmet in thee. They set forth thy comeliness. The men of Arved with thine army were upon thy walls round about, and the Gamadims were in thy towers. They hang their shields upon thy walls round about. They have made thy beauty perfect. That city like unto Tarshish was thy merchant by reason of the great multitude of all kind of riches and things with silver, iron, tin, aluminum, and lead. They traded in thy fairs and markets Javan, Tubal, and Meshish, they were thy merchants. They traded the persons of men and vessels of brass and steel in thy markets. They of the house of Tukoma traded in thy fairs, with horses and machines, donkeys and mules. The men of Dedan were thy merchants, many nations were the merchandise of thine hand. They brought thee for a present horns of ivory and ebony. Syria was a merchant by reason of a multitude of all the wares of our making. They occupied in thy fairs and markets of emeralds, purple and broad work, and white fine linen, and coral and agate. Judah and the land of Israel, they were thy merchants. They traded in thy market wheat of Minna, and panag, and honey, and oil, and cocoa, and balm. Damascus was thy merchant, and the multitude of the wares of thy making, for the multitude of all riches, in the wine of Helbon, and white, white wool. Dan, also, and Javan, going to and fro, occupied in thy fairs and markets, bright iron, Cassia, and Calamus, were in thy market, 
Dedan was thy merchant in precious clothes, O horseless chariots. Arabia and all princes and rulers of Qatar, they occupied with thee in lambs and rams and goats and all kinds of animals, and these were they thy merchants. The merchants of Sheba and Ramah, they were thy merchants. They occupied in thy fairs and markets with chief of all spices and of all manner of precious stones and gold and silver. Hanran and Canaan and Eden, the merchants of Sheba, Asher and Chilmad were thy merchants. These were the merchants in all manner and sorts of things, in blue clothes, and broad work, in chests of rich apparel, bound of cords, and made of cedar and steel among thy merchandise. The ships of Tarshish did sing of thee at thy market, and all was replenished and made very glorious in the midst of the seas. Thy machinists and marinas have brought thee into great waters. The east wind has broken thee in the midst of the seas. Thy riches and thy fares, thy merchandise, the mariners, the pilots, the captains, the chalkers and caulkers, and the occupiers of thy merchandise, and all thy men of war that are in thee and all thy company which, in the, which is in the midst of thee shall fall into the midst of the seas in the day of thy ruin. The suburbs shall shake, the suburbs shall shake at the sound of the cry of thy pilot, and all that handle the oar and take care of the motors the mariners and all pilots of the sea should come down from their ships. They shall stand upon the land. And shall cause their voice to be heard against thee. And shall cry bitterly. And they shall cast up dust upon their heads. They shall wallow themselves in the ashes. And they shall make themselves utterly bald for thee and gird them with sackcloth, and they shall weep for thee with bitterness of heart and bitter wailing, standing afar off for fear of the radiation. And in their wailing and crying, they shall take up a lamentation for thee, and lament over thee, saying, What city is like unto Tyrus, like unto Babylon, like to destroy in the midst of the sea? When thy merchandise and wares went forth out of the seas, thou fillest many people, thou didst enrich the rulers and kings of the earth with the multitude of thy riches and of all thy merchandise and stuff. In the time when thou shalt be broken by the seas and the depths of the waters, thy merchandise and all thy company in the midst of thee shall fall. All the inhabitants of the nations shall be astonished at thee, and their rulers and kings shall be sore afraid. They shall be troubled in their continents and very worried. The merchants among the people shall hiss at thee. Thou shalt be a terror, and never, never shall be any more. Ezekiel chapter 27 which is likened to Revelation chapter 18 Thank you Jesus Christ Lord Amen